I'm Tracy. I'm Kathleen. And if anybody recognizes her, she's actually from Under Her Skin. Um, she had a very large speaking role in that. I just had a cameo appearance. But we are at the 2008 ILAD Scientific Session, and we're thrilled to be here. We are in the West Coast this year in San, downtown San Francisco, absolutely beautiful. And the highlight of this, I would have to say, is Dr. Willie Bergdorfer, discoverer of Lyme. Borrelia burgdorferi, named after him, and that was back in 1982, I believe. And he is actually honored at the seminar. So this is just been an app. This is going to be an absolute treat to meet him, to actually hear about him, and then all of the doctors that are presenting. Yes. They have a great lineup. It's fabulous. Yeah. It's great to be here. I'm very glad to be here to learn. And I'm in charge of registration. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. But welcome. I'm Barbara Bookman and I'm the administrator for ILADS and I just wanted to say I'm so sorry that you were not at the meeting, we missed you. Um, we had a very successful meeting here in San Francisco. Uh, we had 35 people walking off the street unanticipated. We ended up with about close to 300 people full capacity and we hope that next year you consider coming. The uh, breakout sessions for the new future this year, of course the most popular one uh, we kind of anticipated was the Burris Gunna Horowitz Fundamentals Lecture and then um, the complimentary one, that was a big surprise but maybe it shouldn't have been, was uh, the second most popular and then we had some other very stimulating uh, breakout sessions on uh, pediatrics and a case discussion for primary care people and then some cutting edge research. So I hope you consider coming next year, which will probably be on the East Coast, uh, time and place to be determined. Take care. Bye. This is Leslie. I'm with registration. It's been a great year this year. We've registered over 300 doctors and nurses, and I hope it gets better next year. Uh, take care, and I'll see you next year. So we're here at the ILADS conference, and I traveled from Greenville, South Carolina. Um, I am working on a book for Brian, and it'll be about patient victories over health insurance companies and uh, physician victories over medical boards. And I am learning a whole lot at this conference and I'm really excited and blessed to be here. And I hope to be sharing this information as soon as I possibly can. Thank you.
Hi, this is Brian Rosner with LimeBook.com. The video is not over yet, but I did just want to say hi. You won't see me in this video since I was the one shooting the video. Um, I did have a great booth at the iLads conference, uh, made a lot of new connections, made some new friends, and I hope to attend the next iLads conference, which will probably be on the East Coast. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. volunteers with the California Lyme Disease Association, a wonderful organization that promotes research, public and physician education in California and throughout the country. Our website is www.lymedisease.org. You can go there for information in Spanish and English about tick-borne diseases and support the good work that we do with a generous donation if you can. Hi, I'm Mark Toothman. I'm a general manager of Nutramedics and this is Tim Eaton, our company president. And uh, we offer the Calvin Support Program and uh, we encourage you to look uh, at our website at Nutramedics.com. Uh, I'm uh, Dr. Stephen Fry. Uh, we're here in uh, San Francisco at the 2008 International Lyme and Associated Disease Society meetings. Um, we have a uh, booth for our laboratory here and uh, we're trying to show some of the new assays we have to help detect Lyme disease and some of the related tick-borne diseases. Uh, this is uh, Lyme disease, uh, Bartonella, Bisiosis, Ehrlichosis, Anaplasmosis, and uh, what we're calling uh, Hemobartonella. And uh, hopefully with these diagnostic tests, uh, we can help clinicians and the public uh, help to figure out their disease a little more easily and point a direction at uh, appropriate therapy. And my laboratory is very interested in new diagnostic tests and also potentially new therapeutic uh, 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 assays and therapeutic modalities. And I'm also here with uh, Dr. Warren Levin, one of the uh, main physicians in this whole deal, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he's doing here. Well, I come here to find out what the other people are doing because it's too hard to do this on a all by yourself basis and uh, the latest information it's better than the internet <laughs> right so do you feel like you've learned anything new here that's actually going to change the clinical approach or is it just some new uh, uh, I, I always say that if I come away with just one new piece of information it's worthwhile and just as an example of a wonderful clinical tool, I am a clinical doctor. I spend a lot of time with patients trying to get their information to help me make a diagnosis. And one of the great doctors in this field is Dr. Charles Ray Jones, the pediatrician who has treated well over 10,000 kids. Hmm. And one of his students in, in her lecture said that when Dr. Jones asks a child, how are you, these kids who are chronically ill, they say, fine. Hmm. And then he says, could you be better? And I think that's such a wonderful clinical tool, hmm. not just for kids. Hmm. Because so many people with this chronic disease hide their symptoms from themselves, right. let alone anybody else. So I understand that there has been some uh, discussion between the IDSA and ILADS over the last few days, especially yesterday. What's your feeling on uh, the current direction of that? those discussions? Is it going well or could it be going better? Or how is that going these days? 